Right at the convergence of the three rivers on Art Rooney Drive, we welcome you to Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Seattle Seahawks and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. the first time here with Brown and he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31 the game's first play produces six yards brings up second down well I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half you've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. You go tight. You got tight. You got tight right there. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Check, 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 check. Check 26, check 26. They run for the first time with Benny Snell. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. The best defensive lineman. They play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Check it out, Reed. No, no, no. They'll run on third down with Brown. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Get in the right room. They'll drop the throw. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. They'll run it here with Brown. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be Good second job, down. Good job, he was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Get up, get up, get up. Second and five. It's Kelsey on the ground. 
And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I don't believe that this opening drive is surprising to either one of us after the time we spent with the coaching staff and players prior to the game. What about you? Absolutely. Not only that, but that big article in this paper this morning about their philosophy on starting games like you're shot out of a cannon, and that's what they've done. Very methodical here on this first drive. Yeah, so many teams talk about that fast start. We're actually seeing it happen right here in front of us. But now the kicker. Can they cap it off by putting the ball in the end zone? On first down, Brown. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. The last run got six, now second and four. Get that and He's coming, double up, double up. He's coming, double up. Check, crunch, crunch, crunch. Watch twist, watch the gun. On second down, it's Snell. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. But well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through, and has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. And this will be play number eight of the opening drive. It's third and short. Here's Brown, and they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. He needed two, he got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down of the yard. Now Jason Sanders for the field goal try. This a 43-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good, and the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Rashad Penny, first carry for the former San Diego State Aztec. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. Deeper, deeper. Don't be scared of him. 54, come on, 54, go, 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 go. 54, 
From the gun, it's Wilson. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. Move the chains, a gain of seven on third down. The first down carry. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. Wilson defers to Penny here on the draw. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. I got you. I got you. Mike's by four, Mike's by four, Mike's by four. Drop deep, drop deep. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. You're trapped, you're trapped. Watch safety green, watch safety green. <laughs> On third down, Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt, what a season he continues to have. His 15th sack of the campaign. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. Nothing after one on EA Sports. Here's Michael Dixon now to punt. to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And this will pin him back deep. That's going to kick out of bounds right at about the seven-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. They defer to Brown to start the drive. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. No gain on the play there. Second down. You mentioned very early on the need to establish a running game for this young QB. They really haven't been able to do that, though, in the first half. So that means what in halftime? Adjustments, Adjustments time, right? Figure out what they are. Figure out the things that they really want to accomplish and who to run behind. Which are your better blockers? Find those guys and get in that direction. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. I'm coming after you. Under ten. Under ten. Ten. Kill. 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 A run for Snell. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, 
you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. It'll be a nickel look here for the Seahawks on third down. A run here with Brown. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. Call it a gain of four, but not enough. The punt team going to need to be summoned here on fourth down. The Steelers send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. 12 yards on the return that time, and it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in their conference. They keep it with Penny on first down. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Wilson after the play fake to Carson sliding out of the pocket on the run he'll let this go deep right end zone caught touchdown Seattle Gary Jennings his fourth touchdown on the year and the Seahawks have taken the lead. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. And, you know, certainly a lot of football left to be played. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're first place in their division, looking good, looking to be a threat come January. And let's think about what every team has in their goals, all right? Number one goal is what? Make the playoffs. Number two goal is win your division. 
number three goal and the biggest goal I think is to be the highest seed possible that you can be heading into the playoffs so that you can have as many home games as possible to try and get you to the Super Bowl. And right now fighting for every win possible to try to at least secure home field for the wild card and or divisional round. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Second and nine now. This one into the hands of Hurd. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A gain of 10, good for a Steeler first down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. They'll run now with Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A Steeler first down on a pickup of 11 yards. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. down he'll drop to throw catch is made by Hurd and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line seven yards the pick up on the pitch and catch one thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch but in this situation the defense was effective able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going able to get seven on that first down pass play second and three now Snell. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stop that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Here's Brown, and he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, though, if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. They'll go with Snell here on first down. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down.
Play number nine on the drive coming up, and they need nine yards on third down. They will toss to Brown. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. Sanders' kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something. I'm for nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, that allows your blitzers to get there. Now Rashad Penny, and he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. And it's third down. So we've come upon halftime with the visiting Seahawks. They're out in front. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. The Seahawks with the advantage, and they get the football first as the second half is underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. You can't block me. You can't block me. Check, 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 check. Alert, 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 alert. Switch, switch, switch. Again, it's Penny. He'll have a first down past the 40 as he'll get this one up to the 44-yard line. That one good for 14 and a Seahawk first. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Now Wilson, eluding the pressure right. And he's Wilson hit. It's loose. It's out. Fumble. But I believe a Seahawk was able to get a handle on this, so this will remain Let's Seattle go. ball. They're back 
backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. After the penalty, it's Penny. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And his guys will set up shop at midfield at the 50-yard line. So they need to determine if that knee was down before the ball was coughed up. And they also wanted to make sure that the ball was possessed as they were going through, that the ball wasn't working its way free before the knee hit the ground. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. He finds Hopkins complete. 20. The big gainer there on the catch and run. 37 yards. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Wilson leaves this one with Penny. He'll get this down inside the 10 for a pickup of about three. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Wilson and he's got it caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown a nine yard touchdown grab and the Seahawks are able to stretch that lead out a bit further and he is a reliable target they like to get him involved they got him involved there for the score and they should he's a very good player remember they can use him in certain positions so many different spots and he usually comes through for them Extra point up and through by Myers. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. This will be taken in at the one. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, you know? I would agree with that totally. 
I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. On the toss, this is Jim Brown. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Keep it on the ground. Again, it's Brown. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Let's go. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. And Brandon, you know that expression? He just does what he does. <laughs> it sounds trite, doesn't it? But in this case, it's perfectly apt. This is one of the better runners in the NFL. And all he does is just find avenues, find ways to pick up key first downs and big runs. to throw now on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. They'll run. This is Brown. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Mike, Mike, 55. Check, 55, Mike. <laughs> Check, 55 to Mike. Check, 55. They'll set up a throw. He's going to let this one go deep. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. Uh, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. And he'll take this in at the one-yard line. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. 
And this is an example of breaking down a defense because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. You better be afraid of me. They'll run with Penny. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 45. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Brings up second and two at the 44-yard line. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Watch Twitch. Watch Twitch. Check, 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 check. Hey, watch that, watch that. Check. They go play action now. Wilson, they're rolling that right. The battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 20, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Okay, it's real simple to say from here, but we know that sometimes as a quarterback, you've got to know when to say when and just throw it away. Flushed out to the right, tries to make something out of nothing here, and he winds up floating one downfield that gets intercepted. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. At the 17-yard line. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here we go on second and 12. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. Now it appears we have a stealer here slow to get up. We'll check on his status when we get back. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Watch the He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double up, double up. Watch the ship, watch the ship. Hey, hey, watch the ship, watch the ship. Check. Check hot route. Hot, hot. You drunk quicker. Now back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they will set up shop with outstanding field position in the red zone at the 17-yard line. some on this play being knocked back to the 18 now we're going to get a timeout here as it looks like there's a seahawk injured on the play while the trainers take a look we'll step aside
Now, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. Strip that ball. Fair, fair. Strip that ball. Whip, 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 whip. Watch the whip. Wall, wall, wall. Get wall. Hey, zero, zero, zero. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Oh, 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 oh. On second down, it's Carson. Now Carson fumbles the football. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports.